Hi, I'm Nightshade, and that's my mom. Hello, I'm Sophie, and that's my daughter. This is going to be a short spirit read for cancer. We have already invited spirit into our home and to the table to join us for this read. So let's see what October has to show for cancer. Just a short overview of the energies out there. Of what? Oh, look at this strength. Ooh. You got it or you need it. And I got two of cups. This is all different kinds of relationships, okay? Not just love. So it's not really a love reading. We're doing a short little spirit message reading. All right. So you got strength. Which is your Leo card, the sign next door. And we got two of cups. Ooh, love next door. I don't know, I'm just saying. All right, let's see. What have you got for cancer? Hey, the hangman. Spirit. So now we got uh, Leo and Virgo. You ready to throw it all to the wind and take that plunge? Look at that broom between his feet. What is he hanging from? He's got locks around his feet. Let me show you. It's kind of like a Houdini card. See, he's got himself locked up there. Huh. And he's got his wrist locked. That's the hangman. All right. All right. Show us where this read is going to go for Cancer Spirit for the month of October. Just an overview. Not Virgo. What am I saying? It's not Virgo. Show us cancer. Show us some cards for cancer, spirit. Oops. For October. That was like ten cards. I'm not going to take it. But I'll take one. <laughs> Same one. Same one. It was one. on the top of the ten that just flipped out as the lovers. So, All right. I mean, this is turning into, like love read. Well, that's all right if that's what Spirit wants to show for the month of October for Cancer. I mean, you've got the lovers, uh, two of cups, the hangman and strength. So it looks like you've been holding off you know, or you decided deciding to take the plunge. Decide it that this is the right girl or boy for you. Give us some more cards for this throw. For Cancer. Cancer. Cancer is a water sign, water element, cup sign. So we certainly have, we've got the two cups here and the lovers. So, and the hangman in between them and strength, it looks like you were. Holding off for a while. And then decided to go after what you wanted. Mm. Give us some more cards for cancer. Give us some more card spirit for cancer. For this short throw for cancer for the month One of October. More. Three swords. We know why you were holding off. Well, but that's good that they held off until they were over. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Is that nine? The nine of swords. Uh-oh. Yeah. <clears throat> but it looks like hanging here is what's making you crazy. You're kind of reliving the same bad experience over and over again. And that needs to come to an end. We're in the perfect season for that. Today's the equinox. Yes. We're recording this um, the night of Monday the 23rd. So it's the equinox. It's the time. We're going into the downward slope to the season of death. Get rid of it. So you can move on with your life. You're wanting to. Yeah. It's there. This means it's already here because the strength card... I know not everybody reads exactly the same way I do and she does. This strength card means that you've opened up um, 
like a sphere. And you can even see in this card, it kind of looks like that. See how it's kind of whipped up around her? And she's looking forward. She's looking out there because what she's been thinking of is is coming. The strength card has a lot to do with like um, the sphere of influence is around you is strong. So you're you're um, not emulating. You are what am I saying? Expanding. You're like expanding outward with strength. It would be a natural conclusion that. A test of strength would come from something like this and would be embodied in the two of cups am I making sense am I losing you guys no because strength is expanding your influence and bringing yeah. around you what you what is attracted to you you're attracting things to you because of your own inner innate strength that's woken up from this test with this three of swords and nine of swords and hangman. It would be a natural conclusion that from these energies that you've been kind of sleeping in with this hangman, that the two of cups would be there. So you're, you're holding, a lot of this is holding it in, holding it in. Holding it in. You see how that works? The three of swords, nine of swords, and hangman. You're kind of suspended, and you're holding it in. You're in that space. You're not But you can't not revert letting back. It. You no. can't revert back. You really can't go backwards. No matter what. And there we go. There's your return. Exactly. What you sent Here out is. is coming back. The three of Wands. What you sent out is now coming back. Because the right. Three of Wands is all about you. What you sent out. Remember, that's your ships on your ocean with your goods and your stuff. You sent it. Now you're now it's coming back. What's it got for you? More. Same thing with the strength. The strength is like that that influence is strong around you. Yes. So it looks like you're re well, ready or not. God damn it. It's coming. It comes. It's coming. You can't go backwards. You cannot go backwards. This and card I got is telling you, you cannot go backwards. Four of Pentacles. I mean, you can't sit on it anymore. You have to bury it. Let it go. Bury it and move on. I'm going to take it simply because it's the bottom of the deck. The Magician. You have a lot more power than you think you do. Of course you do. To bring Everyone this does. about. It's just we get in this uh, cycle of feeling sorry for ourselves and we don't always see what's right in front of our nose. Mm, and we don't this. always see uh, the steps that we need to take to move forward. Or that we've already taken because that strength card is about opening up. Right. And the way you open up is because you, you did this to your emotions because that lion is like your emotions out of control. When you do this... It means you can think clearly. So there's a double entendre in this card because it's hanging upside down, not wanting to deal with something. And look, but, <clears throat> excuse me. It's also an enlightenment card because while you're there, you can't do anything but think. You That's can't right. do anything but think. So let this October be the month that you decide to let it go. Let it go, bury it, and move forward. You have a lot more treasure on the table than you think you do. That's you have right. A lot more you've got, around a, you than you've you got think a lot you do. more coming you're toward about to, you. I was going to say, you're about to get the return, and you're going to, and yes. that's going to be your face. It's like, what? I mean, because he really is like, he's sitting on that, but I think he has another thing coming this time around. You've had nothing but time to think. And there's only so much you can think. You're just rethinking and rethinking and rethinking. And, and that's so weird because this morning I woke up with that Boy George song in my head. I'm a child of the 80s, so remember that song, You and Me, We Got Nothing But Time? No. Oh, but yeah, you wouldn't. But I mean, I a culture him. club. Remember that's a time. <laughs> Listen to it. That's Well, that's what it says. Yes. Time um, makes lovers feel like they have something real. And you and me, we know we got nothing but time. That's what you've been in that space like. That's, I don't know, that's what popped in my head, y'all. Well, a lot of songs, there's somebody on YouTube who who always gives a song out uh, when she does a throw. But at any rate... I just popped into my head. So if it means anything, go listen to it. Take if control. What it is, if you are in a relationship right now, maybe it's just brand new, 
and we're reading that energy of, oh, I'm not sure, I'm so scared, then, you know, this is the season for you to bury all that fear, that devil, that fear that you have that you've been hanging on to, this nine of swords. And Let look, it go. And look out. Let it go. Look out there and see what's waiting go. for you. Let it go. A whole nother life A whole is nother waiting life for is you. waiting for you. And if you haven't met this person yet, then it's coming real, real soon. Definitely. It's coming in October. All right. For you, we Cancer. Hopes this, uh, we hope this. We hope this is making it to y'all. We hope this helps a Cancer out. It's just an overview, a spirit overview for the month of October. So until our next read, may your moon always be full. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.